Hello, welcome back to Brands Chilam Noding. In this episode, I want to talk about these um, assets from Taiki Mitsubishi. So it's basically a geometry nodes asset. It was made for Blender 3.3 and up because it's using a volume cube and it's allowing you to create uh, stones, okay, with all these uh, erosions and things like that. So we're gonna take a look. Um, uh, Benny, Benny here actually uh, offer another solutions. I think this uh, this could work for cube or any other 3D objects, maybe like uh, Suzanne or maybe 3D text. But this one is uh, slightly different, I think. Uh, so let's take a look. So rock cube generators. You can name the price, uh, two dollar or something, and then purchase it. You download the contents, which is just this blend. Okay, rock cube generators. So I download it. I'm using Blender 3.4 Alpha. We're gonna take a look at the blend. You can simply use this, but you can also uh, study and just break down the, the geometry node setup so this is the file so normally i will save it as another blend call it study and i give it a number all right so take a look let's take a look by default already set to cycles we are in shading mode um we have the shader being applied right so apparently it has some kind of UV tiling so you can actually study this this is pretty cool so there's the mesh generator and the UV generator um, with a height mask as well okay so there's the mesh size this control the volume I think it's a good idea to also check the wireframe or turn this on Over here okay so mesh size that's definitely using the volume resolutions and an erosion so this is the interesting part and there's also the uh, back erosion back what is that let's study this erosion erosion back detail size erosion seed increase the resolutions maybe we need to make this larger okay to mesh threshold okay okay that's kind of like pushing it back to original box uh, box shape I think so it could be like a brick so if we just squeeze this kind of like a brick shape or like a stone so I think you can go really high with resolutions but in this case I just go with four okay, erosion back okay what is that maybe we don't need that if we just want to have like a like a stone shape so either like a stone or brick this guy doesn't have any textures okay and we don't have any light so create sunlight uh, turn off the wireframe for now so we already have some kind of shape we can create duplicates Randomize the seed. Uh, we can go a little bit crazier with the erosions. Okay, okay, cool. The stone is happening. So it's using texture, uh, UV. So um, for the UV for the texture, I grab it from CG Bookcase. So this is one nice website uh, you can actually get a lot of really nice textures with resolutions and all these categories I try the concrete 
let's just use one of them concrete wall color height okay normal okay there's height for displacement so I'll just use the color plug this into the base color this is for the shader we are using a uh, principal BSDF so I think it, it works when we are using cycles oh okay I forgot one one thing this is an object with all these uh, geometry nodes uh, and then also another geometry nodes for the UV right we need another geometry nodes just to set up assign assign material create new switch this to geometry nodes and set material plug this in so this material okay switch back to shader so principles there's bump and then okay normal space all right if we okay, try to get duplicates and then pipe this uv informations and normal maps goes into there we don't have bump we we need to have roughness okay duplicate this this is going to be roughness roughness goes to roughness we need the vector uv this is the normal okay normal roughness base color we don't use the displacement okay we okay we need geometry nodes and set material. Let's do that again. Geometry nodes. There. Three different materials. And we can always change the shape. Okay, cool. Um, what else? We can actually uh, use another method for the procedural. Okay, for the procedural shaders, I have this one from Sanctus. We can use stones or concrete stylized for these buildings. The photic synthetics. Stones. Yeah, okay. Yes, let's use stones assign material so it doesn't work right away because we need to assign it here stones so the UV I think uh, one thing that we need to use is the the UV needs to be plugged in into this guy if we sometimes we need to do that let's try another one Marble, okay, let's, mar let's try marble. Assign material. Marble. And we might need to use denoise. But that's pretty much what how it works. If you really want to study the geometry nodes, goes inside. Okay, this is what's going on. Um, I usually start from the, the last nodes and then start to guess okay how it works so it's definitely using volume to mesh eh, I mean volume cube okay so this one is doing the hard job there's this uh, volume to mesh that you can play with okay this can change the topology a little bit in this case we just leave it like this um mass island what is this for oh that's for deleting geometry we can you can turn it on and off with the mute and see the result
it's using uh, noise noise textures that's uh, makes sense okay, I'm testing the EV EV is actually uh, slower on M1 iMac so I better not to do that I should have um, it's slower because I'm using this pros complex procedural shader maybe I'm just gonna kill it go back to applications blender 3 point oh, 3.3 is probably the one that I should be using 3.4 is still kind of better file save as so if you are using Mac M1 never use EV just go straight to cycles it's gonna be faster okay volume cube get the density from the noise with the multiplier okay it's it's multiplying itself with the uh, Voronoi I believe it's Voronoi okay see Voronoi it's a 3d uh, 4d texture actually and there's a lot of nodes here noise Voronoi Voronoi texture oh wow yeah it's controlling the erosions and things like that so the exciting part is that you end up with simple controller yeah and you can just randomize the seed you get all kind of different result duplicate it so you can you can hold options and then drag the seed it's gonna move all the three numbers together now we have more variations of this yeah so that's basically the setup and now you can simply use it in your 3d scenes it's very it's very basic I know but it's a uh, uh, you can try baking it I'm using BBB uh, bakers or oh, if you, you just google for blender BBB bakers and then you, you're gonna get uh, kind of, some kind of add-on to bake this into 3d objects with texture that's ready for game engine or AR so let's try just for the sake of it I'm using Sanctus library it's got a lot of cool materials okay oh I already have this gold and glass and okay, the chocolate is my favorite chocolate this one's gonna be metal gold okay as usual gold or coppers smart metals steel rough here prefer and you create a sky texture okay without the sky it looks like this now let's create a sky it's always too strong you might need to adjust the color management filmic adjust the exposures <clears throat> okay you, you might see okay this this shader I think that's from Sanctus as well it doesn't <clears throat> yeah that doesn't seem to be quite working you need to have UV somehow for this guy and baking the UV from geometry nodes is slightly tricky for now but we might look into that in the futures the sky I think the sky texture is this tend to be really strong I don't know why we reduce the strength 
increase this uh, elevate the Sun okay um, and this guy have UV control I believe so with with the principal BSDF and then all this PBR texture you can always scale the UV tiling so I'm re retiling the stone maybe this should go down okay yeah not not bad actually but set so that's basically the process from the creations the whole process um, so you download the the blend files it contains the procedural geometry nodes and and then we assign a procedural procedural UV here and then assign the material which is a it could be a procedural texture PBR or the one from Sanctus library normally this works better if you have like a proper actual UV the, the custom UV from geometry nodes doesn't always translate right away you need to I think you need to do another step but yeah that's basically it I want to show you uh, today uh, thanks again for the blend Taiki Mitsuishi um, I, I also want to try this one from Benny so in this case okay it starts from a cube and then there's a mesh boolean that goes cutting the edge this will work really well for 3d text or any kind of 3d mesh so this needs I'll try to recreate it on myself but anyway hopefully you find this useful thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time thank you bye